Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee Nor. Yeah, getting ready to show you a video. This video is kind of a long video, but to you it won't be long because we'll cut out some of that time. Um, today, I'm going to make a, a roast. I um, hadn't made a roast in a while, so I thought something different today. Um, most of my videos are about the same food because there is no other food. You just have to cook things a little different, change it up, make it a little different. So today I'm just making a simple roast. I think I'll put some potatoes and carrots around it and, um, yep, yeah, and, um, tell you something happened yesterday. Yesterday, Tennessee North did something she has never done in her 60 years. Went to a Turner Green patch and picked greens. Um, give you a little story about the reason why I've never done it. Uh, when I was young, I went to uh, my mom's friend's house and uh, they had a farm. And um, I forgot what we were picking. And so she had my mom to come out there and was picking something she was giving her. And uh, me and my sisters, us being children, we went out in the field with my mom and the lady and we were picking. Now, Tennessee North mom is just like Tennessee North. She's scared of everything, yeah. So while we were in this field picking, all at once my mom started running out of the field. Now, us being kids, we didn't know what she was running for. So we just started running. That's an end thing. You see somebody else run, you run too. So we're hollering, Mom, what is it? What is it? She's just running. Got out of the field and um, her friend is hollering, you know, my mom's name was Ruth. Ruth, what is it? She just running and hear her two girls running behind me and my sister Tracy. I we're a year apart. She's older, a year older than me, and we're running behind my mom. We're probably about oh nine, ten, somewhere like that. So once we get out of the field, we holler, "Mom, what is it?" My mom saw a snake. What? Now Tennessee North. I'm scared of snakes too. I'm scared of bugs. And it's not so much being scared. I don't want it on me. You know, I have a phobic of something on me. So, yeah. After that, I never went picking anything else. Um, another story of my mom. Um, we were at my grandmother's house in the country. And they had blackberries. That little dirt road that led from the main road that led back into the down the lane to her house. And the church sit right on the main road. And then you walk down the lane beside it. The the little dirt gravel was those river like rocks. And you walk down the those rocks and they call that a lane down behind the church, past the graveyard, to my grandmother's house. My grandmother's house was the only one back there. And so there were blackberries. They grew along that little gravel road. And so we went picking blackberries. Now my mom baked and she was gonna make a blackberry pie. So we're all out there. My grandmother, my cousin, my sister, myself, my mom. We're picking blackberries. And this is my dad's mom. All at once, my mother took off running again, back down the lane. And of course, me and my sister, we follow suit. Whatever my mom does, did, we did too. So we're running too. And gets back to the house and my grandmother hollered, Ruth, what were you running for? A snake had fell down on the vine and was swinging, leaning. My mother saw it and immediately freaked and took off running. 
and her girls took suit. So, that's my story about me and farm. I'm a city girl. I don't know nothing about that. And so, my mom didn't know nothing about that either. She's a city girl. My dad grew up in the country. So, that's my story. And so, yesterday, I had saw somebody was talking about these spring greens. I said, and if you know, if you watched any of my videos, you know that Tennessee North favorite, all-time favorite, is Turner Greens. I could eat them every day. So, I said, wow. I checked my Amish friends, and they didn't have any. And so, I said, well, I heard about this lady. She has a feel, and get your greens. So I said, but I think you have to pick them yourself. And a friend of mine said, well, let's go check. So, we went. And um, couldn't find it at first. And uh, I happened to see a lady bending over out in this field. And I pulled up and I said, is this the place where you get the greens? And she said, yeah. So I drove up the driveway and came around the back. And she said, they're free. You just have to pick them yourself. But a lot of them are going to see. So they're, you know, slim pickings. You got to pick all through here. So I said, wow, I ain't never picked greens before in my life. And um, found a bag in the car. And I said, okay, I'm going to try it. So my friend, she says, oh, it's too wet. I, I can't get out there. She never picked any either. So I get out of the car and I go to the field and I said, the, the ground is wet, so I took the cane with me. So, you know, kind of give me some balance out there. And I got to the edge of the field and said a little prayer. And I said, snakes, bugs, don't play with me. Yeah. I went in there saying, mm-mm, I ain't the one. So I proceeded on there, and the ground was soft. It was muddy. So, you know, the mud was getting all on my shoe. And so I got a bag. Hold on, I'm going to show you the bag. Okay. This is the bag that Tennessee North picked. When you cook this down, probably about a bowl full. So. And they're little bitty greens. You know, they smell so good. Yeah. So, news say, I stopped at the store and got a bag of greens to go with that. Yeah. So, that's what I did yesterday. And I also stopped at the Amish store. Now, Tennessee North... Has never had never ate beets before till I had some at church. A lady at my church made them. It's the old church I went to, and we had something like a rally, and she bought these beets. And oh my God, I said I think it was probably fifty, probably fifty six. So I said I never had a beet, and um, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna like it. Stop saying what you don't like until you try it. Love them. Oh, my God. Oh, they were delicious. And so, when I can, I go to the Amish and get some from a place they have called Country Pantry. And, oh, my goodness. They, I can eat them out of the jar. These are baby beets. Yeah. So, don't say what you don't like till you try it. So, I still got some things at Tennessee North. I say I don't like because I never tried them. But, um, I got some hog malls. You mix them with chitlins. Now, I don't care for chitlins. I finally tasted them. I didn't like them. Um, 
maybe not so I didn't like them. I didn't like the texture. So, they tell me you got to mix these hog moths with the chitlins and I may see something different. I'm going to try it. Uh, I didn't say when I was going to try it, but I'm going to try it. And, um, yeah. So, today I'm going to make the, um, the roast. These greens. And I haven't made no, uh, homemade macaroni and cheese in a while. So I think that's what I might make. Hot water cornbread and some sliced tomatoes. Yeah, that's what I got a taste for. So we'll see. I'm going to play by ear. So at the end of the video, and I didn't make all this that I said I was going to make, and I deviated. Because I'm telling you at the beginning, I might change my mind about something, so I'm not real sure. So, yeah. So I've told you my horror stories about being a country girl. Excuse me. Yeah, so. That's what today's video about. Yeah. Um, Turner Rings is just... It's just one of those things I just cannot get enough of. Yeah, and don't let me have hot water cornbread. It's hard to eat turnip greens without hot water, hot water cornbread. Mm. It's just something that goes together. And you can do the egg cornbread, but it's just not good. Like hot water to me. I'm speaking for Tennessee North. Yeah. So, that's what today's video is about. So, I'm going to put this roast on. And, um... I'm going to put my meat on for the greens. And then, I'm going to come back in a little while and um, put the macaroni and cheese together. I don't want to put it together this soon because it's going to take a couple hours for those roasts. Yeah, and I got two roasts about yay thick. and They're not real big, but they about yay thick. And that's enough. Me and the Mr. Brody will be the only ones eating it unless one of my daughters or something come by because my boys they don't eat roast mm. now if I chop it up into hash they'll eat it but just a roast mm -mm. they won't eat it so let me get to this video hold on okay so I got two roasts here I'm gonna rinse them off set them back on the pan I rinse the pan first, the little tray, and then I put them back in here. Okay, I got an onion, a bell pepper, and some carrots. I'm going to chop these up so I can lay them in there with the roast. My potatoes, I'll put in like the last 30 minutes because potatoes don't take long and you don't want them mushy. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of rough chop this these onions I'm gonna put this whole onion in there this um, bell pepper. This one I already cut. I want to use this one up before I cut another one open. This is something I always try to keep on hand. Bell pepper and onions. And same thing with this. I'm just going to rough chop it.
Yep. Yep. I'm going to peel my carrots. Greens and roast go together, in my opinion. Well, greens pretty much go with anything. Fried chicken, uh, pork, you name it, can't go wrong with um, turnip greens. That's the vegetable, it can be eaten with anything. This is one of the best tools you can have in your house. A peeler. Yeah. Makes the job so easy. If you're gonna peel your potatoes, or peel carrots, or whatever, have your potato peeler. Or a peeler. It's not just for potatoes. Now I have an electric chopper that I hardly ever use. Unless I want it real fine, then I'll bring it out. I have the big one, uh, the Ninja, and I also have a little small one. The Ninja I bring out mostly when I'm doing a lot of catering jobs because I need a lot of stuff chopped up. But uh, if I'm just doing something a little simple around the house, I'll just bring out the little one because I'm not going to like make that much or anything. Yeah, Tennessee North still does catering jobs. From time to time, I pick and choose. It's getting to be my due season, so I like to stay on the go. So I'm going to just kind of rough chop these up too. Excuse me. I use the back of my hand. Let me go wash my hands. All right. When you're cooking in the kitchen, you have to be mindful. Other people will eat this food besides you. So. Rubbing your nose, scratching, or anything like that. You need to wash your hands. That's the right thing to do. Yeah, your kitchen, do it your way. My kitchen, we're going to wash our hands. That's the only amount of carrots and onions and green peppers I'm going to put in there. Now I'm going to put some celery seeds maybe in it. But not celery. Tennessee North is not big on celery. Yeah. And then I'm also have some potatoes. So, hold on. Let's get to the stove. Okay. I got some flour. And I just added a little salt to it. I'm going to add some black pepper to it. I'm going to add some... Purple top, touch of love, some uh, wild mushroom, some French onion mix. 
Hold on. I'm going to add some onion powder and some of this buffalo trace. And that's my mix. Now I'm going to take my roast, put it down in there, and I'm going to sear it on both sides. And I'm using my Dutch oven today. Okay, we're browning it. Yeah, now put all those seasons in the flour because we're going to use the flowers to also make our gravy. And it's probably going to cook about two hours. I want it good and tender. Almost you can eat with a spoon. Hold on. Okay, now we're going to add our green peppers, onions, carrots. Toss that around a little bit. Get them started. Now I'm going to shake some of that seasoned flour off in there. That's going to make our gravy. And I'm also at, I had a, a Lipton soup mix. I got a half a pack here. I'm going to toss that in there. And then I'm going to toss a whole pack. Yeah, it's 
scrape scrape up those those uh, those scraps on the bottom of the paint. You want to scrape that up. And that flour taste off. <coughs> I'm going to add some of this beef bouillon in here. Add some water to that. You know how I do, I build my gravy. back in here and like I said the last 30 minutes I'm gonna put potatoes in here my roast back in. Kind of move it where you can get it to the toward the bottom. And that's the other half. And that's gonna thicken up more, so I'm gonna add more water to it. put a top on it and I'm gonna put it in the oven about two hours two and a half hours hold on okay here's the roast I took it out of the Dutch oven and put it in a smaller pan because the Dutch oven was big too big so <clears throat> I added a few more carrots too now I'm gonna put my potatoes in Put it back in for about another 30 minutes till the potatoes get tender. The gravy is really rich. So, let me cover this up. Put it back in the oven, and I'm going to show you my greens. Okay, I got my macaroni noodles on boiling. 
Got my greens cooking. Yeah. So, let me let these noodles get done and we'll go to the next step. Okay, now I'm getting ready to make my roux for my um, macaroni and cheese. My noodles are done. I'm going to put some butter in here. Now I got my cooked noodles over here in a bowl and I'm adding some butter on top of it and let it slowly melt while I make my roux. I'm just getting some stuff to put in it. My black pepper. Now I'm going to be using some cheese sauce blend that I had found at Sam Club. Classic, probably can't see it, macaroni cheese sauce blend. And a white cheddar truffle macaroni cheese blend. So I'm going to put both of them in there. I'm adding some flour to make my roux. And this is where I'm going to add my... Uh, this is the white truffle cheese blend. And this is the classic cheese blend.
some milk. I'm going to add a little garlic herb seasoning, just for flavor. That's optional. You don't have to put that in there. If you don't like it, do not use it. I'm going to add some mild cheddar. You put the cheese of your choice in there. And I'm also put some Fiesta blend in it. Because I'm making a small pan, I'm just going to add um, a half a block of cream cheese in it. Break this cream cheese up in here. My hands are clean. I got the bleach water over here. I don't know why I keep explaining that. I'm the only one that eat it. But I like people to know. Tells you know if it's a it's not a nasty cook. To respect somebody else might eat it whether they do or don't 
I wouldn't want nobody to, you know, be nasty with mine either. So I'm going to put a little touch of love in it. Some black pepper. A little sour cream. Done. Okay, I got my cheese sauce ready. cheese sauce my noodles and cheese sauce together okay hold on okay so get this good incorporated here And cheesy. And to this, I'm going to add a little sugar. to this. I'm going to fold this egg over in here. Smells really good.
I'm going to spray my pan, my Pyrex pan. into the pan. You know it's good cheese sauce when it don't stick. cheese over top of it and pop it in the oven. And this is uh, some Fiesta blend and cheddar mix. So, and that's macaroni and cheese. And macaroni and cheese is one of them kind of things. You don't always make it the same way all the time. Sometimes you end up adding something or taking away something. As long as you get it made. Yeah. Hold on, put this in the oven. Okay. I got my hot water cornbread down. My turner greens are done. Yeah, they're done. Hold on. My roast is done. My mac and cheese is done. Yeah. So now I'm just waiting on my hot water cornbread to get ready. And we'll be ready to plate. Um, yeah. Kind of like a Sunday meal on a Friday. Um, yeah, I'm going to slice some tomatoes and onions to go with it. Yeah. yeah. I think I might even boil an egg. to make it real special. So, hold on. Let me get to this bread. Okay. I'm going to slice me some tomatoes and onions. Just a few slices. Like so. And I'm going to cut up some onion. Just a few slices of this too. rings in. I'm just going to pop out. I'm going to apply some salt to it. To the tomato and onion. A little salt. Okay. 
Hold on a second. Yeah, grandson got a little too wild at times. So I'm gonna put some sugar on it. And I'm gonna add some vinegar. Toss them around a little bit. Yeah, like so. Okay, let me see about the bread. Okay. Hot water cornbread. It's gonna be the crunch for me. It's gonna be the crunch for me. So. Hold on, let me get my eggs and I'm gonna plate. Okay, before I plate, my son just brought me in crumble cookie. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm a little too sweet or a little too thick. It's got the Oreo. The blueberry cheesecake, the chocolate peanut butter or something, the chocolate chip, and then some kind of shortbread type. Yeah. He just want to do something nice for his mom. And um, I don't know how I feel about him. I've only had him once. Well, I only had one once when they first opened, and my cousin bragged about them. So, and we rushed up there and had to wait for about 30 minutes for them. You put your order in, then you have to go outside and wait, and then they call you, text your phone, and it was it was okay. I think mine could have stayed in the oven for just a little bit longer. Yeah, let me go ahead and play. Okay, here's the Mr.'s plate. Eggs, turn of greens, sliced tomato, he doesn't like the onions, roast with potatoes, mac and cheese, and hot water cornbread. Yeah, hold on. Okay. Here's my version. Smaller plate. Same stuff. Tomatoes and onions. Roast with potatoes and carrots. Mac and cheese. Turn of green. And the boiled egg. Yeah. So. Let me speak to the Lord about this. Amen. Amen. I always put some vinegar on my leafy vegetables. Yeah. Cabbage, turnip greens. It's all going to get soon. Yeah. The rum off of the And the hot water cornbread. Let's see if the crunch is there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On top now. Well, let me get a napkin. Okay. I don't want to reach over in front of the camera. I need to shake a little salt on my boiled eggs. These are my eggs. Yeah, you, you do yours how you want to do. Okay. It's that roast. If it tastes anything like a smell. Oh, my goodness. 
tender, tender, tender. Carrot. The potatoes. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my. Mm. Ooh, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. And this man can cheat. Got a little bit of greens on there. You know, I think you done outdone yourself. And let's taste these greens. The Tennessee North Help Pig. The cornbread is dancing. Mm. Tell you something about this Kool-Aid. It used to be for um, a gallon or a little over a gallon. Two packs of Kool-Aid for a pitcher full. Two packs of Kool-Aid. The package of Kool-Aid, I don't know if you noticed, is smaller. It takes three packs of Kool-Aid. Yeah. And the price went up. Why? When I was a kid, you need but one pack. Tomato. Don't nothing go better with um, turnip green than a tomato, some onion, and if you never had it, a boiled egg. My mother always served it with a boiled egg. I don't know. It works though. Mm. This is a meal fit for a queen. And I'm the queen. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is where you want to roast tender. You can eat it with a spoon. And I ain't lying. Mm, mm, mm. And the potatoes and carrots. Oh my goodness. And the onions. Mm, mm, mm. I ain't had a meal like this in a while. You hear that point? Mm-hmm. 
I know I'm not going to be able to eat all this. But I did want to taste it with it. Look at that roast. Mm. I wish y'all was here to share it with me. And the macaroni and cheese to die for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, me, me, me. This is how you hurt yourself. This one, my mom's Sunday meeting. Sunday after meeting dinner. My mom would come right in from church, finish up that meal. Her meal was pretty much finished. All she had to do was come and make some bread. Mm -hmm. Everything was done before she left for church. And she went to Sunday school. Yeah. She got started the night before. She would wash and pick her greens. She can get up and put them on to early that Sunday morning. She put that roast in the oven. Wasn't no crock pots when I was a kid. Put it in the oven. The eggs will be already boiled and peeled. macaroni and cheese would be ready. All she had to do is pop it in the oven when she got back home. My mother made Sunday meals special. She really made all the meals special because she cooked every day. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She always liked some cornbread with a meal. Cornbread rolled something. But she loved cornbread. I'm going to take this last bite and then I'm going to have to scale back. Oh, before I fall off this stool. Mm -mm -mm. I'll come back to that. Mm -hmm. The macaroni and cheese. The turnip green, the roast, the whole meal. I'm going to rate this one. One to ten. I think we're looking at a fifteen. Mm -hmm. Two chef is coming around here. 
Her mom is a little bitty thing. But she loves roast. She'll walk and eat that whole roast. The boys don't care nothing about roast. Mm -mm. But all my girls do. All three girls. They had three girls and they all like roast. But the boys don't. I'm full. Yeah. Here comes two chef now. Hi, Moo Moo. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Come to the camera and say hi. There's Sue Chef. Can I have your jacket? She dressed herself a little bit. That's okay. She looks good. Yeah. Yeah. What you got? Hi, Pia. I love you. I love you back. You didn't want to taste the rose? No, mate. Some good. Um, did you call Buddy and tell him happy birthday? Mm hmm. He's probably gone now. So, I'm going to end this video. So I can spend some time with Sue Chef. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's my sweetie. And she's got a care bear. Yeah. So, this is my Sunday meal on a, on a Friday. If you like anything about this video, give me a thumbs up. Like, share. Subscribe. Leave me some comments. Tell old Tennessee know what you think about this meal. Hit the notification button in the corner so you know the next time. And you know it'll be the next time. Yeah. Say bye, Sushi. Bye. She's trying to see what her uncle bought Nana. Bye now.